Hello everyone, I just got my Bark Box Super Chewer Double Deluxe Introductory Box and I thought it would be super fun to do a box opening. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, this is a subscription box of dog toys that are supposed to be um, indestructible or pretty close. And I have to say that the packaging does give me hope because this cardboard looks very durable and tough. They did not skimp on the box, so hopefully the toys will reflect the same care. When you open it, it says, let's chew it, hashtag super chewer. And then it has this little booklet, and I'm sure this is information about the contents. It says, welcome to super chewer, tough is just the beginning. And it has this cute English bulldog chewing on a toy. And it doesn't fold like a regular bullet um, booklet. It folds weird, so bear with me. It has a little marketing copy. And then it explains the contents of the box. Two toys for tough dogs, two bags of meaty treats, and two chews to challenge your dog. It explains that they will let you know when you will be receiving your box. And it shows the satisfaction guarantee. Then on the back, oh, it talks about what kind of toys they are offering. Uh, shows pictures of some toys. Those are pretty cute. Um, this one has a little blurb about the treats and chews. And I think it's important to note that they are made in the U.S. and Canada, so they are up to our production standards um, for safety and cleanliness. So it's should be pretty safe for your dog and then it shows where you can uh, request refills or extras for your next box and then it goes back to the beginning page now the cover is a picture of two Siberian Huskies and a Malinois um, reaching for a bucket of toys maybe and then when you pull the cover back there are some toys and it has some suggestions about how you can play with the toys with your dog. Um, sticking little treats in some of the toys. Um, hiding toys for your dog to find. Uh, oh, it says you can take a picture or video and hashtag it Super Chewer. Please excuse the children in the background, they're unavoidable. Uh, and then this is the toy on top, and it is the Super Skewer, and it is a large dog toy because I have a Malinois and a Catahoula Leopard Cur, and they are big dogs, and they are tough on their toys. It has chicken scent, and is apparently meant for fetch. It is dishwasher safe and BPA free. Um... Not for eating, just for chewing. Uh, oh, and it has a guarantee, so if you don't care for it, they will uh, make it right. So there is the Super Skewer, and it has the um, Bark branding on it. So this was made just for Bark Box. And we have, what is this? Oh, it looks like a comet. That's pretty cute. And it says hot potato, a medium to large dog toy, 20 to 50 pounds. And supervise your chewer. Okay, this is going to be the same literature pretty much, except where it describes the toy. It is rubber, it has a natural smoke scent, and it bounces that's fun and this feels like they call it ballistic nylon it feels a lot like fire hose so even if it's not it's something pretty similar this is a really heavy toy like don't mess up and hit your dog with that because it'll hurt um what else do we have in this box this is heavy and hard my goodness this is the barked potato Why is it? 
It is rubber with a natural smoke scent. No, it has reinforced seams, wacky bounce, no, and is dishwasher that. safe. Oh, this toy has a squeaker and rewards determined chewers with a second toy inside. So if your dog rips through the fabric, discard this layer and continue play. So apparently there is a hard rubber squeaky potato in this fabric. That is too cute and funny. What toys. else? Mr. T-Bone. He is still in a plastic net bag. This thing is so heavy. This thing could be Exhibit A in a murder trial. This is like a big toy for a big honking dog. I don't even know if my dog will be able to pick this up. Wow. It says Mr. T-Bone for a 50 plus pound dog. It has a nylon core. It is rubber with a beef scent and paw friendly for easier grip and leverage. I guess so dogs that like to put their foot on top of something and chew on it can really enjoy this. So I guess that's the idea. And oh, this is a potato chip. It looks like a plastic potato chip. It is Tuffles potato chip. Medium to large, 20 to 50 pounds. And it is solid nylon. Splinters are no fun, so sand down rough spots after heavy chewing. It has a gnaw friendly and paw friendly texture and a cheese scent. Well, now I have to smell it and see if it smells like cheese. I don't smell it, but maybe it's good. Who knows? It's a giant potato chip. How cute is that? It's a potato chip. Let's see. Alright, now we get chews and treats. The first chew is a peanut butter and carob stick. And, oh, this package is not see-through, so I'm not going to open it so it doesn't go bad. Oh, but that's cute. It says to thine own self be chew. No, it's way so that's pretty cute. Uh, we did order a box with no chicken because one of my dogs is allergic or sensitive to chicken. Um, it does have nutrition facts on it, including calories. Move your hand, Sammy. Um, uh, ingredients. Not intended as a meal substitute, no matter what your dog says. That's pretty cute. Move your hand, Samuel. We have a pork stick. Hard and chewy, and it is um, transparent. And you can see it in there. Uh, let's see. Is it? It is not filled, so it's just a big stick. Um, this is pork, chickpeas, pea flour, stuff like that. Oh, it has apples in it. That's crazy. Um, let's see what else. This is a sweet potato stick. Sweet potato chew. This is a duck stick. Same kind of concept. They all seem about the same, just different flavors. They're not filled, so that's okay. Uh, and then we got some yummy treats. These are marvelous duck cuts. We'll turn your dog into an award-winning actor. The award is the treat. The role is dog who finally sat still for a minute. Okay, that's pretty cute. Oh, and they look pretty yummy in there. It looks like um, like a little pressed, like a jerky type substitute. Children, please remove your hands from the area. Thank you. Um, so that looks pretty delicious from a dog's point of view. Then we got, uh, scrumptious peanut butter cookies. We'll make the friendliest, fuzziest, sassiest, cuddliest, and certifiably bestest dog in the world feel pretty fantastically awesome. Then we got, uh, let's see, pork cuts. Will make your dog a satisfied and sophisticated food critic. You might have to stop them from devouring the bag itself. Please don't let your dog eat the bag. That's not even funny. Um, and then we have... Oh, my nails look gross. 
Then we have some more jerky stuff. This is pork flavored. Um, and oh, lamb ones, same kind of treats. I'm going to cut these up really small and use them for training treats, I think. I'm going to cut them up really tiny with scissors. I might make a video of that too. And then what is in the bottom? Oh, there is more literature on the bottom of this thing. Um, we did not get the corn and the cob or a tree dispensing toy, so I gotta, I gotta ask about that. Um, because this picture is showing a toy we didn't get, so I will have to ask about that. But I am pretty excited about this box. Oh, it has warnings on the bottom of the box. And, oh, it has pet pictures. That's super cute. Let's get that out. It has pet pictures. Uh, the models who model the toys. And they have got a Malinois. Three German Shepherds. Two Huskies. And a Lab. Two Precious. Well, my kids are going to tear into this box and get pieces everywhere. If I don't hop off here and put my dog toys away. But I hope you really enjoyed the video. And if so, please hit the like button below. Subscribe and hit the bell for more fun pup related content. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.